Today, I wanna to cover two questions you need to ask every real estate buyer or seller. What's up guys, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So I haven't said this in a while, but the whole reason behind this YouTube channel and everything that I'm doing is, is because I'm on a mission to reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry one agent at a time. And I'm doing so through my absolutely free, 100% free real estate coaching program. I'm the very first completely free real estate coach. I want to open up a completely new era of real estate coaching, a new breed, if you will, that shares everything for nothing. Okay, I've been selling 100 properties a year for the last five years straight, going on six. I've been in real estate for 17 years. I went through the crash, lost everything, and, and came back. Um, everything I learned through the crash is the reason why I'm here today. And I just wanna share it with the industry. I see so much out there in mainstream coaching that is hurting you guys, okay? It's teaching you how to figure out what the client can do for you, and it's the wrong way to do it. In today's world, people wanna know you care. People wanna feel connected. They wanna feel that you're honest and hardworking, dependable. They wanna feel those things, okay? They don't wanna feel like you're there for you. They wanna feel like you're there for them. And so what I'm doing is I'm teaching and coaching over 10,000 agents for free to learn how to effectively communicate who they are as a person to figure out what they can do for their clients and customers. So all I'm doing is, is I put together exactly how I built my business, my entire program. Okay, I have a 90 day action plan um, that I think all of you should dive into. Don't do anything but this action plan for the next 90 days and see where you end up and see if you don't start building relationships and find massive opportunities. Okay, all of this stuff is right in front of you. Closings are happening every day. Business is 110% unlimited and competition does not exist. Will everybody like you? No. Will everybody choose you to be their agent? No. But that's okay because there are going to be 20 to 30% of people that you run into that like you enough to do a deal with you now or in the future. And every person that you create that relationship with, regardless if they wanna buy or sell today or not, is worth 10 to 20 deals to you over the life of your career through repeat business referrals and referrals of referrals. So I wanted to get all that out right here at the beginning of this video. I haven't said all that in a while. All of this can be found on my website, link in the description, or go to zero2diamond.com, all spelt out. Create a free account, jump into the free course, start the 90 day action plan. We do live training twice a month right here on this YouTube channel. Sometimes the live training is me actually making live calls. I might be circle prospecting, calling expires, calling for sale by owners. Other live trainings may be on certain subjects, okay? Or I may have just a training session where I let agents call in and ask me questions. We also have a Facebook group. It's over 14,000 agents right now. We're growing very fast. There's about 50 to 100 agents signing up for the free coaching every day and joining the Facebook group and subscribing to this YouTube channel. So. Be sure to get involved. It's a, it's a growing community. We're the fastest growing real estate coaching program in the world. And it's such a positive breath of fresh air compared to just about everything else that's out there. So if you haven't joined us, join us. We'll be glad to have you. Reach out to me if there's anything in the world I can do for you. I answer every single DM on Instagram, email, all that stuff. So if there's something you need, feel free to reach out and I'll get right back to you. So let's get into these two questions that I think are so crucial when we're talking to a prospect who is thinking about buying or selling. Okay, this could go for buyers or sellers. It's all the same. It's all just people, it's all humans that we're trying to help accomplish their goals. It doesn't matter if they wanna buy, it doesn't matter if they wanna sell. I think too many agents are trying to label themselves as a buyer's agent or a listing agent, or if they've been handling buyers for a while, they wanna to transition to more of a listing agent. It's not the case for me. I find that I'm just a real estate agent trying to help people do whatever they wanna do. A couple years ago, my listing to buyer ratio was about 80% listings, 20% buyers, but here in the last 12 to 18 months, that switched to about 50-50, okay? 
50-50 because the market has shifted and so my business has shifted. I'm gonna go with the flow of the market. I'm not just gonna you know, be one dimensional. I wanna help people do whatever they wanna do and because I wanna help people do whatever they wanna do through whatever the market conditions are, that's what's gonna enable me to survive any market crash. Okay, because the relationships don't go away. Your ability to create the relationships does not go away. Okay, the properties do not go away. Transactions can go down, right? And if you're transaction oriented, then that could hurt. Okay, but if you're relationship oriented, you're gonna be the one still producing those transactions that are left at the end of the day. So the first question that I ask a prospect when I finally come to the realization that they are interested in buying or selling a property is, is there an agent that you're working with on this? Is there an agent that you're going to work with on that? Is there an agent helping you with that already? Okay, I wanna get this out in the open as quickly as I can. I wanna establish myself as their agent in this transaction if they don't already have an agent in mind. They may already have a relationship in place. And if so, then I can decide what kind of relationship I think that really is between that prospect and the agent, and if I wanna continue trying to squeeze in there or not, or if I feel like it's a total waste of time and I just wanna cut my losses right now and move on to someone else because their mom could be an agent, right? Their brother, their cousin, their best friend from high school, you know, there's all these different scenarios. It could be the agent that sold them the property and they told you that this agent, how over the top this agent went for them, there's no way they're gonna use any other agent, that's probably a spot to cut your losses. They're, they're obviously pretty tied to this agent and feel very deeply connected with. Okay, that means that agent did a really good job. Okay, that's what they're supposed to do and it's perfectly fine. Business is unlimited. You keep moving, you find someone else, okay? But I wanna concentrate on these two questions right now. That's a whole nother video. So we want to establish ourselves as the agent. If they say they don't have an agent they're working with on this, then it's time to get to work. You want to immediately start putting in place the, the parts of the deal that establishes you as the agent. You know, the meeting, the appointment, showing of the properties, um, so on and so forth. Whatever their situation is. It's, there's not a cookie cutter system, by the way. Okay, a lot of people come to me and say, hey, my, my coach told me that I need to do 12 touches here. I need to do every lead I get, I need to do 12 touches. Well, that's not true. Every deal's different. When you talk to that, that prospect, it might be one touch, it might be 12, it might be four, okay? When are the touches? They might be spread out more, they might be back to back to back. It's different for every situation. There's not a cookie cutter system to any of this. So don't get caught up in that trap, okay? And listening to the cookie cutter trainers out there, realize that every situation is different. You need to go into it, listen to your prospects, figure out what's best for them, how you can help them accomplish their goals. So I think a very important step in the process for a real estate agent dealing with the prospect that has decided or you realize that they are ready to possibly do a deal sometime soon is to figure out if they already have a relationship in place and how strong that relationship is. Make a decision right there which way this is gonna go. Okay, now we're ready to move to step number two or question number two. Question number two, and this is a big one, and it is why. It is why this prospect is thinking about buying or selling. Okay, this is where we go deep into the relationship. Okay, they didn't wake up one day and decide, I wanna sell a house for no reason, or I wanna buy a house for no reason, or I wanna sell this lot, or I wanna buy this apartment complex for no reason. Okay, there's always a bigger reason than the transaction, a bigger reason than the property. Okay, their mom died, they, their kids went to college, their, you know, their grandson moved, they lost their job. They got a new job and need to relocate. There's all kinds of bigger life things happening within this that's causing them to make this decision. The transaction and the selling or buying of the property is a secondary thing going on, okay? The primary thing going on is, is whatever that huge new life change or decision that they've made, okay? If it's an investment, 
Maybe they're selling it to get the money so they can do this, pay for college or pay some debt down or whatever the case may be. There's something bigger than the transaction and that's what you got to figure out. You got to figure out what's going on in their life that's causing them to make this decision. Focus on that. Okay, when you focus on that, when you relate to them on that level, we go so much deeper, so much deeper. The transaction is the surface, right? But when you find out why the transaction is happening, now we're getting deeper and we're going deeper and deeper and deeper. Now we're starting to connect. Now we're starting to grow. Now we're starting to really form that lifelong relationship that we want, okay? Because we want to help them for the rest of their life. We want to help them buy and sell their next property. We want to help all their friends and family buy and sell their properties. Okay, We want to be their go-to and let them know that we are here for them and we're going to help them accomplish their bigger goals. Okay, We're not worried necessarily about the house selling. Yes, we are. We're going to do a good job. We're going to make it happen. We're going to do everything we can do because that is happening because of this bigger reason that we're more concerned with. And when you show them that you care about their bigger reason more than the transaction, but you still go all out on the transaction, now we're building a business. Now we're really making it happen. So just to reiterate the two questions that I think are the most important to ask potential buyers and sellers of real estate is, is there an agent you're going to work with on that? And there can be many variations of that. And the second one is why? Why are you selling? Why are you buying? What is causing you to make this decision? So I hope this video really helps you guys go deeper with your relationships, establish yourself as their go-to agent if there's not already a deep relationship in place with another agent. And I hope it helps save you time. Um, I hope it creates all kinds of massive business for you. And if there's anything I can do for you, please let me know. If you haven't clicked subscribe to my channel, please do so now. Click that bell and let me know if there's anything in the world I can do for you.